Greetings, our beloved student. My name is Mrs. Ghada Alwawi, and I'll be teaching you geometry this year. This is the book that we will be using in Vision Geometry. These are the topics to be covered throughout our course. I'll explain briefly each topic. The first topic is foundation of geometry. What are the fundamental building blocks of geometry? This topic begins by focusing on the measurement and properties of line segments and angles. We will learn that in brief and details. So the difference between line segment, the ray, and the line. Topic two is about parallel and perpendicular lines. What properties are specific to parallel lines and perpendicular lines? Topic three is about transformation. Transformation is a very important part in our curriculum. So we will discuss each one of them. Reflection, how the object is reflected, translation, rotation, enlargement. Topic four is about triangle congruence. How are the size segments and angles of triangles related? The symbol of congruent is an equal sign with a wiggly line on top of it. S is congruent to T means S and T have identical shape and size. We're talking about the whole triangle here. Also, we have uh, theorems to discuss triangle congruence by side, 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 by side, angle, side. For the right triangle, we have a special case. It's called RHS and ASA. We will practice all of these concepts. Topic five is about relationships in a triangle. How are the sides, segment, angles of a triangle related? What do we call each one of them? How the circumcenter is made, how the incenter is made, what's the meaning of centroid? how the ortho center is made and what's the meaning of it and how is it related. Topic six is about quadrilaterals and other polygons in general. So we know that there is polygon and there is circle. Polygon is a sided figure. We will discuss the quadrilateral family in details and more. Topic seven is about similarity. We took congruence and we will take similarities. How are properties of similar figures used to solve problems? Also, we will discuss or focus on the similarity of triangle. So we have to differentiate between similarity and congruence. Topic eight is about tri triangles and trigonometry. Trigonometry is a, a vast field in geometry, but we will take it in details and briefly. So we'll discuss the hypotenuse, the adjacent, the opposite, how to label them first, and then we apply the rule of sine, cosine, and tan, which are the major or the basic uh, trigonometric ratios. Now, topic 10 is about circles. We will identify circles. Now, the parts of the circle, uh, which is the chord, the arc, the center, the radius, the tangent line, what is a sector, what is a secant line, all of these we will learn them in details. And then we will discuss when a line or lines intersect a circle, how are figures formed related to the radius, circumference, and area of a circle. Also, we will discuss the area and the circumference of the circle how to calculate them, and how to use them also. Topic 11 is about two and three dimensional models, 2D shapes and 3D shapes. 
um, we will also study their surface area and volume. These are uh, mainly the main topics that we will go through in our course. Now let's talk a little bit about the geometry. And Vision Geometry offers a carefully constructed lesson design to help you success in math. Everything you need for math, anytime and anywhere, you will find it in your book and in the ebook. You will find lots and lots of activities that will make uh, or reinforce, uh, enhance your understanding. Also, animation that shows you real world application. You will have many practice, differentiated practices or practice questions. You will see videos also to support your modeling. And finally, you will evaluate your understanding throughout the assessment. At the end, I wish you all the best. I am your teacher, Ms. Rada Alwawi, and I hope that you will enjoy geometry. Thank you and have a good day.